What's going on guys, it's Galactic Fox here. Today I'm going to show you how to make three different redstone doors in Minecraft. Enjoy. So these are the three redstone doors. The first door I'm going to show you is this book secret bookshelf door. Oh, it looks just like a normal bookshelf, right? Well, that is where you're wrong. See, there's a trap door that hides a hidden lever. And when you flick the lever, the bookshelf opens and then closes again. Well, this one's quite a simple build. First, you're going to need to grab some bricks or whatever you want to make your wall out of. You're going to need sticky pistons, a lever, and redstone dust. The redstone comparator is optional. You can add it if you want to, but you don't have to. The redstone repeater, and of course, a book shelf. Quite simple but effective. Oops. Sometimes that'll happen. Anywho, now let's, oh, and of course, brown carpet. Or whatever you want your floor to be made out of. I'm choosing brown carpet. Anywho, oh, well, we ignore that. We go over here, and we start off with a one by two wall here going up. You can make it however tall you want. I'm just going to try to copy what I have over there. No, this is if you want to copy what I have over there, then you want a one by two wall over here that goes about one, two, three, four, five, six blocks tall. And then the bookshelf goes about one, two, three, four blocks tall. And one, two, three, four, five blocks wide. And then you just put, put whatever you want your wall to be made out of on the top and there you, there you go put, put down your floor whatever it's not necessary okay now for the redstone parts of the build enjoy and for this you're going to put pistons in the middle of your bookshelf Like that. Oops. Made them too far. Like that. In the middle of your bookshelf. Okay? Then you're going to want to put four pistons right here. Looking just like that. Okay. And you want a brick block here. Redstone dust should start looking like that. Brick blocks over here. Redstone dust leading like that over to the brick blocks. Alright? Okay. Over here is where you want to make the hole for the lever. Then put a brick block there leading and then lead the redstone over here. And right here is where you want to put your redstone repeater. Put it on the last tick. Then Finally, almost forgot, you want the spruce trap doors or whatever trap doors you think will look nice and then just cover it up with the trap doors. Oops, you weren't supposed to see that yet. Alright, now you flip open the trap door 
activate your lever, and there is your nice bookshelf door completed. All right, and now we move on to this brick wall door. Now, see this presser plate right here? You step on it, and there opens the brick wall. Step off, and it closes automatically. This lever is to open it from the other side. And then flick it again to unopen it. Or, <laughs> unopen, close it. So what you need are brick blocks. Sticky piston, oak presser plate or presser plate of your choosing, it doesn't really matter, redstone torch, redstone dust, redstone repeater, uh, slime block, honey block. Now this is where it gets interesting. Oh, and of course you want some uh obsidian if i can f there it is obsidian all right I ignore everything else i have in my inventory <laughs> anywho oh and whatever you want to make the floor out of this can be used for any type of wall not just brick wall but i'm just using brick wall because i think it looks nice <laughs> And I have uh, this as my floor to, you know, kind of flesh and blend in the oak trap door. I use oak planks. Or not the oak trap door, the oak pressure plate. Sorry. Anywho, I'll rebuild a two by three area over here. Put the oak pressure plate right there. And build out however long you want your wall here. And however tall you want your wall. Just making it uh, small so I don't, so y'all can get the gyps of everything. But you want to have at least a 3x3 three three area right here in between these two walls here. And then you want to line this out with obsidian. So about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1 by 7 here of obsidian. And then you want to grab your honey block and your slime block and make it look something like that. Then grab your sticky piston and put your sticky pistons just like that. Okay, and grab your brick blocks, or any block really, and outline your redstone to look something like that, and do the same on the other side. Okay, okay, then we, this is where things start getting interesting, so you want to grab a uh, a slab of your choosing and then you want to make a one by two hole going down if if I can stop flying and show you okay we we'll replace the redstone right here 
leading out to our presser plate. And then, of course, covering it up with the oak slabs. Okay, so then we can bring the redstone out like this, put a block here, put the redstone torch right here, then line the out redstone dust over to the redstone torch. I guess we didn't need the redstone repeater, my bad. And then we grab the lever. Like that. Alright. And... Boom! Redstone wall. Can be, you can use any type of wall you want. But I just chose brick because I like brick. Alright, and finally, we have the, uh, fireplace door. Now, you can make your fireplace out of whatever you want. This is just what I chose. Chose some wet red nether brick, some red nether brick stairs, and, uh, iron bars the iron bars and the uh netherrack are needed though you have to have them in to make this work oops and then we grab flint and steel water bucket sticky piston redstone dust dispenser uh, as you can already see this one's the most complicated as you need the most amount of items for it and then whatever you want to make your wall out of I chose uh, deep slate tiles and whatever you want to make your floor out of I chose uh, stone bricks and uh, of course, trapdoors of your choosing, I chose dark oak trapdoors. And finally, the last two items we need is a lever and a redstone repeater. Yeah, there's a lot of things that go into building this. Alright, so then we go over here, build a floor, doesn't matter how big you make the floor, I'm just making the floor. Anywho, now that the floor is made, you grab your sticky piston, dig a two block deep hole, if you accidentally break a block, that's fine. You can always fill it back up again. Like that. Then you put the iron bars on that sticky piston. Then you use whatever you chose for your uh, fireplace. And you make a lower arch like that. But get rid of that top block and replace it with iron bars and outline this area with oh you know like that okay. and we do some scaffolding that'll these blocks will get rid will get rid of eventually 
and then we put the sticky piston right there and this is where the stairs come in Like that. Alright, and that should be the overall look of your uh, fireplace. Well, there. That should be the overall look of your fireplace. Something like that. Oh, and I messed it up. My bad, folks. There. Should look something like that. Oops. Alright. Now... That is done. You go over here, or first off, we go here, dig a three, yeah, build a, just a one block deep hole to put the nether rack. This is where you build out your wall. Leaving this hole here open. Now, we put sticky pistons down and they look and the layout will look similar to the uh, bookshelf wall You can see the layout of the pistons and the redstone look similar to the bookshelf wall, but it is quite a lot more interesting. As you see, the redstone will then go wind up to go up here to attach to that piston. Sorry folks, I majorly messed this up. Give me a second. Okay, I wasn't supposed to do that. Anywho, ignore what I just did. Give me a second to fix this. Okay, sorry about that. Anywho. I just messed up the layout of the redstone here. There we go. 
And when you're done, the redstone should be completely hidden. From the outside, at least. Now that that whole contraption for the is almost done. Oh yeah, there's more, way, way more. Then we start digging down, or we can get to that piston we made on the bottom, right here. Then feed the redstone through here. Or not through there. My bad, that'll that would be a whole catastrophe if we did that. Uh give me a second. There we go. That'll not work either. My bad again, folks. Okay, that idea would work better. Okay, there we go. Ig ignore that whole thing that happened. Anywho, feed the redstone through and loop it out like that. And now, we go over here, we grab our trap doors, Put our lever or right here. This activates the whole contraption. We also grab our water bucket, our flint and steel, our dispensers, and our button. Fill up this area with trap doors. Then we grab our dispenser, put it in like that. This is where we put our flint and steel, and then crouch, place a button, and that will ignite the netherrack. And over here, we put another dispenser, we put our water bucket in here, crouch, button, this is to put out the fire on the netherrack, and then finally, we flick this lever, and that will reveal our whole secret base. was made like that. Ignore that. Then would be the fireplace door or the chimney door. That's not good. And there you go. 
Those are three redstone doors that can be used for your new next Minecraft secret base. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed building. Nah, and with that being said, I will see you all on the next one. Peace.